We made the point in introducing the chemistry of alcohols that the carbon connected to the hydroxyl group has the potential to act as an electrophile. That may lead you to believe that it's possible for a nucleophile to directly displace hydroxide in an SN2 step that looks something like this, with a lone pair of electrons in the nucleophile headed to the carbon connected to the hydroxyl group with the CO bond breaking towards oxygen. This would give rise to a new carbon nucleophile bond and hydroxide. However, this is a disfavored process. This does not occur, and you should never use hydroxide as a nucleophuge or leaving group. You should never kick it off by breaking a CO bond toward the neutral oxygen atom. The reasons for this are twofold. The first is, thermodynamically, it does not fit our definition of a good nucleophuge. In, in a thermodynamic sense, good nucleophuges are the conjugate bases of strong acids, which have a pKa of less than zero. Hydroxide does not fit this description since its conjugate acid is water and the pKa of water is way up at 14. If you need a refresher on this, check out my video on what makes a good leaving group from Chem 2311. The long and short of it is that hydroxide is not a good leaving group. Now considering the basicity of alkoxides, of which hydroxide is a prototypical example that we talked about in the last video, you may think, well surely there's a strong enough nucleophile, right? There's something that's so unstable with the negative charge that the right-hand side would be stable relative to the left-hand side, right? What about something like Cr3 minus? This anionic carbon is clearly less stable than the anionic oxygen that we end up with. And that's true. The problem is the second reason why does this does not occur, which has to do with proton transfer. Whenever we put a really, really strong nucleophile in the presence of an alcohol, reaction does not occur at the carbon, which tends to be more sterically hindered and all that good stuff anyway. Instead, what we want to act as a nucleophile or Lewis base is instead going to act as a Bronsted base and remove the hydroxyl proton to form an alkoxide. So rather than doing the SN2 step that we sort of wanted in the prototypical example above, we're going to get proton transfer instead. And proton transfer, I make this point in the elementary step discussion of proton transfer, is the intrinsically most rapid elementary step. So it should be one of the first that you consider really in the context of any organic reaction. The punchline is that any Lewis base that's strong enough to displace hydroxide in a thermodynamic sense will deprotonate the hydroxyl group at a much faster rate than it will engage in SN2 at the carbon linked to the hydroxyl group. The moral of the story, do not use hydroxide as a leaving group.